Well, hey friends, um, I am in my kitchen right now. <sighs> we have got uh, family coming over tonight. We're gonna watch a Christmas movie. So I've got a lot of stuff to clean up around the house. We did our grocery shopping yesterday. It was a big shop, Costco and regular grocery store. I haven't even gone in a few weeks. So we got lots of things and we got home late last night and I was too tired to put it all away. So I've got lots and lots of stuff to put away. We ran into town this morning. Um, our uh, church mom group uh, does Santa photos. So um, we got the kids dressed up and we went into town uh, to have their picture taken. It looked so cute. And it was over so quickly I couldn't even pull out my camera to, um, <laughs> to film anything. Um, and so we came home. Aubrey's playing some ABC Mouse, which is like a learning uh, program for kiddos. <laughs> and Colt is on uh, her tablet and he is doing some learning things um, and it's about lunchtime. Shane's gonna head into town to go to the bank and I'm gonna start working around my home and putting all the things away, getting things tidied and cleaned up, um, just doing all the homemaker things. Um, I've been kind of really anxious to just kind of be in my home and just do the homemaker stuff. So I've got to uh, do laundry, um, it's lightly snowing outside, and I'm going to make my checks mix today. So I'm bringing you along with me, I'll show you the mess that I'm dealing with, I'll do dishes, just all the things. So here we go. Okay, so we have a mess from lunch from yesterday. We had went out um, during the day, so I didn't even get the dishes done from yesterday. And we got home, um, by the time we were done, it was like 10 o'clock. So I've got lots of grocery stuff to put away and breakfast stuff, all the dishes from yesterday, um, and just more stuff that needs to put away. But it'll not take that much time, and I'm excited. I'm gonna listen to a podcast from Sally Clarkson. I love her podcast in general, but I really love them around this time of year. And I think she, I don't remember what one it's about, but it's about the holidays and um, Christmas and just, it's, I don't know, just speaks to my heart. So I'm going to put that on and um, tidy and get some lunch going. So for the kiddos' lunches, they're having some Incredibles goldfish crackers, some deli ham, um, carrots, and a little... Clementine or tangerine. I don't know the difference. It's one of them. So I wanted to show you how I store my baby carrots. So I just put them into a glass container and then I pour filtered water on top of them. So this helps keep them fresh and kind of hydrated. If you've ever seen baby carrots, it's sort of just like get white and dried out and this prevents that. If you ever notice like when you buy baby carrots they're often wet and sometimes there's a lot of water in the bag and so that's where I got the idea from and it keeps them really fresh. Now you may need to change your water every few days especially if you know hands are going in here and of course you use clean hands when you get them out but um, yeah it works really good. I also wanted to show you how I store my cookie cutters. So I've got a lot of cookie cutters. This is just one bin. Um, I've got them stored seasonally. So I've got my fall, so I've got pumpkins and turkeys, and my Christmas in here. So this is one bin, and it's just one of these Sterilite shoe boxes. And then I keep them way up here in my baking cupboard. And as you can see, I've got another um, shoe box, and that has more kind of spring and hearts and just other random cookie cutters that don't really have a sort of theme. Next to it is my cookie press and then in that white bin and then underneath is like a cupcake set. It's got liners and little flags and stuff but that stuff I don't usually, all that stuff up there I don't usually use so it's stored up high. Okay so we are going to start our checks mix. Now we did not get the wheat checks. Um, my sweet husband ended up getting the knockoff Life brand cereal rather than the wheat check. So we're just going to roll with what we have and it's going to be fine. Um, Did you get shreddies? No. Oh boy. So we're this just. This is broken. Yeah. You should stop it and make it right. Well, we were at the grocery store yesterday. Oh, I didn't think of it. So we've got the cereals, so we've got two bags of pretzels. And we've got two kilograms of peanuts. 
Um, so Aubrey's gonna help me get everything dumped into the bowl and then I'll mix up the sauce and we'll get it going. So we've got this giant sized bowl that doesn't even actually fit into my oven. So we're gonna mix everything in here and then put it into some uh, roasting pans and we'll just do it that way. the checks ready to go we're going to pop it into the oven right now and um, get this kitchen cleaned up because it looks like a bomb went off even though I just cleaned it life people life I'm sure you know cuz I'm sure this happens to you too like things just happen cuz you live life right Okay, so I came into the dining room to explain kind of what I did. My husband's on the phone and <laughs> he's so loud. Um, so, okay, I did not end up doing all of the cereals. I ended up just doing a couple of the cereals and one pretzel and then half a bag of peanuts. On the traditional Chex recipe, they actually call for you to use butter or margarine um, to mix the cereal with but my grandma always used vegetable oil and that's what I always understood the recipe to be was vegetable oil and so that's how I've always eaten it that's how we've always made it and it's delicious and people love it so I just used two cups of avocado oil and I looked at the back of the package like the Chex Mix and it tells you the original recipe um, I'll leave our recipe down in the description box below, but we do two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, um, one tablespoon of garlic salt, and one tablespoon of seasoned salt. I think I have those right. I think the measurements, but I'll leave it down in the description box. So it is a little bit different, but uh, I don't know. It's so good. My grandma also used to add Cheerios in her mix. I don't like Cheerios, so I never add it to mine. Um, and usually we have wheat checks instead of, we just do like the traditional one wheat checks, one corn checks, one rice checks. But I cannot buy wheat checks here. The closest thing is a cereal called Shreddies. So um, when my husband went to the States, he meant to get wheat checks, but he got that knockoff life instead. So. Anyways, um, I am going to just sit for like five minutes and collect myself, um, drink some water, and then I'm going to go back to cleaning the kitchen because it just seems like it's never ending. Or maybe I'll clean other parts of the house because we still have to do dinner tonight and um, clean up from all dinner stuff and it'll just be easy to do that. So um, we've got like coats and little toys and little things all over the place that need to be tidied. So that's next. So it's going on five. I'm here in my room. I am trying to clean it. Our room is so tiny um, and just having a few things out of place or a lot of things out of place is so overwhelming. So that's one wall and that's the other. Like our room is so small. Um, and we don't have a dresser in here. So we have this piece of furniture I refinished that on my channel and the baskets hold my stuff like socks and underwear and tank tops and things, um, bathing suit and the bins below hold like Shane's sweatshirts and sweaters. We have um, an armoire, an Ikea armoire and the one side just has shelves and that holds my clothes and then the rest is hang up space and that holds both our clothes, um, extra coats. I only have two coats but uh, the one is hanging up because it's like a dressy coat and then the closet um, is very tiny and it has like a big metal shelf in it and that holds Shane's clothes, Sensi warmers, and a gun cabinet. 
and that's it. That's all that can fit in that closet. Um, so yeah, it's just overwhelming sometimes. Um, so I am actually, which I shouldn't be doing this, but I need to change my sheets. Um, and so I'm going to do that really quick and then, um, get all of the dirty laundry out of here and, um, change the sheets and then we're going to start dinner. Um, Shane's probably going to do most of dinner. He's going to do, um, we have steaks uh, that we had thawed out, um, so we're gonna have that in a kale salad, and the kiddos are just gonna have a box of that Annie's macaroni and cheese, and then we'll have snacks tonight uh, for the movie. So that is where we're at. Most of the house is picked up. I'm gonna um, clean up the bathroom just before the family comes, do a quick vacuum and sweep. Yeah. So the house, like yesterday, we weren't home most of the day, so things just, you know, things just collect and things didn't get done. And so it's not been like a big crazy cleaning day because the house isn't really that in bad of shape, but just the laundry has become really overwhelming because I haven't stayed on top of it. And there are reasons. My laundry room's a nightmare right now. The house is so small. <laughs> it's just... It's hard and Shane's um, starting to dog train professionally so we've brought another dog in and some just his paraphernalia he's rearranging all of the garage and um, the overflow stuff ends up coming into the laundry room and our laundry room's tiny as it is and so I hate going out there in the winter because it's like wet dogs and then I get wet and it's just a mess like all the things it's just not easy to do laundry so it's piled up and that's my own fault that's my own issue and that was the kind of way I was like really ready to get on track today just puttering around my home and doing all the things and kind of dealing with these hot spots of life um, so laundry totally didn't happen but it's all piled up and ready to be washed, so I'll do some just tonight while we're watching the movie. I'm not going to fold or anything. I'll just wash it, have it going, um, but I better quit yammering and get my, my bedding done. Well, everybody will be here in about 15 minutes and I need to go change my clothes. I got the house all tidied and ready. Here's a quick tip for you. Um, if you are a Scentsy user or something like that, I always put fresh wax in my warmers before people come over. Um, I just do usually just one cube. Actually, I find I have enough warmers um, that it just scents the air nicely and isn't too overwhelming. I've got Christmas Cottage here in the kitchen and in the entranceway. I've got oats and honey in the living room and very snowy spruce in the bathroom. So everything is done. I have <laughs> powdered my nose um, and I think we're ready for the family to come so they should be here soon. I realize I don't have any like disposable napkins or plates or bowls or anything or cups so when you have to hand wash everything sometimes that can be a real pain in the butt but it won't be that bad it's just easier with disposable so mental note remember to pick up some disposable products Did you go to your Christmas thing yet? No, it wasn't you said you were going. Okay. Can I just see mine? Thank you. Did you tell, uh, oh, yeah. could I have one in Auntie Sarah's box? Could you bring me one? <laughs> one with like a bit in it? That's crap. Uh, These are, uh, Gifts. Probably from that.